All right, so this is the um, passenger motor mount on a BMW F30. Uh, typically, the passenger motor mount is the one to go out um, by far more often than the driver's side because the engine rotates and into this direction clockwise if you're looking from the back to the front. And so it puts a lot more pressure and cycles on the motor mount on the passenger side. So to replace it, you would just have to uh, put a scissor jack that lifts up right here on the engine block have a piece of wood to not only give the scissor jack more height, but also to even out the pressure and make it more stable where it touches the, uh, the engine block. Um, using the scissor jack will also give you more room to work over here to remove the motor mount, as well as the bracket for the motor mount. Um, the bracket, you'll see there are four of these Torx boats. They're all the same size boat. Uh, the bottom two are relatively easy to get to. The back two are just a little bit harder, but it requires um, a short extension on a 3 8 ratcheting wrench. And you should be able to get it out. Um, I would just lift up the engine just enough so that uh, the motor mount has a little bit of play, especially after you remove the, the nut that goes between this bracket and the motor mount. There's a 14 millimeter nut over here. I would take that off first, um, even before you lift the engine. And that way, when you lift it, you'll be able to either see the gap here widen a little bit or you will also see the motor mount have a little play once you remove the three Torx bolts underneath which are pretty easy to remove. Also you will notice that on an older used motor mount that has been worn this gap will be tighter compared to a newer motor mount. This is a new motor mount already installed um, and so now we're just kind of buttoning up everything back together. It's hard to see the screw of the bolt on top, but um, you can work by feel. Um, you can also access from the top of the engine bay in order to um, put a little bit more force on the wrench, the wrench to break loose the top two bolts. These are M10 thread bolts with 1.5 millimeter pitch. And that's helpful in case you got up the threads like I did on one of the bolts and I had to clean it up with an M10 tap. This is the tap that I used, M10, $5 from Amazon. Um, I put this little quarter inch to three eighths inch adapter on the end to make it easier to use um, in this tight spot. And I just used a regular 3 8 inch ratchet. This is a Craftsman semi-low profile um, with a 7 16 special socket that fits the 3 8 end very snug. And I was able to turn it in, turn it out easily, clean up the threads. And now I'm just going to throw the, the bolt back together and add a little bit of Loctite just for extra security. Thanks. Bye.